please abort your disabled child. Hello, I'm Dr. Max Goodwin and I bet you already forgot my name. Let's start with the poll for the video. A challenging and moral question. If you had a disabled baby in the womb, would you abort it? 30% said yes, 70% said no. Follow me to be my next poll. Let me know in the comments below if you would abort a disabled child. Before we begin, a little dark humor joke. And no, you can't abort your child when they're 15 years old, okay? Okay. I know this is a controversial opinion, but let's talk about it. For background, let's talk about what I experienced and my background to form my opinion. I'm 30 years old. I have an extremely rare disease called FOP where my muscles turn into bones. Only 800 to 900 of me exist in the world. I could move all my limbs when I was born and lost each limb one by one throughout the years. Now I lost 99% of my body's movement. You can say I'm an extreme example. Fine, I agree with you. I have also interviewed 100 guests for my disability podcast and interacted with hundreds of more disabled people and chronic ill people and people you would never ever see. You could also be walking around disabled people and not even know it. A lot of invisible illnesses or are they okay on the outside but lots of rest needed when you don't see them. Life in itself is really great. So many joys out there. Yet there are shit moments that happen. Break up with somebody, get fired, lose friends, fail a test, make a mistake. Normal life things, maybe something bad happened to you and it was straight bad luck. Shit happen. Life in itself is also extremely hard. I know everybody is doing it, but it's still hard. You know it, I know it. Getting an education, finding your calling, finding a relationship, maintaining relationships, getting into situation. Life never goes smoothly. Gaining relationship, being an adult, making decisions for yourself, for others, being self-fulfilling. So we agree life is hard. Now imagine adding disability to the mix. Disability can be a huge range of ailments from mild to severe. Let's do a middle disabled person. Life is so much harder. They are always in pain. It's way more difficult to make friends. And to relationships. There's always a chip on your shoulder. If you are good enough. Sometimes you are never good enough or bad luck. That person's world is narrowed dramatically. Adding in disability makes your world smaller. There are disabled people who do great things and such. But let's be real. You see the best of the disabled people. The people doing great things. You won't see the people really struggling. They have low followings or none at all. We are both adults now. How many friends can you really rely on? Like really count on? Being disabled give you better friends because they have to have more empathy and understanding. Those people are really hard to come by. Lucky we have good three friends in our lives. There's also an invisible force of having to do better than regular people to compensate. People judge you instantly. It's difficult to enter relationships. Difficult to find jobs. Also it depends how they are raised. A lot of disabled people are babied all their lives. When they turn 18 they lose the school support system and they on their own. Many don't know what to do since they always had someone to help them every step of the way. Some are unable to work or extremely difficult to find a job. Some are unable to work or it's extremely difficult to find a job. When you are babied for a long time it's hard to go find a job, find that motivation. They are congratulated for basic things all their lives. When the real world hits a reality, they go hide and stay indoors. It's also hard to be like, go get a job or do better. There's empathy involved. It's a difficult situation. A regular person will never understand the disability blanket over society. We talk about the disability child and adult. Let's switch to the adult. You and your loved one's lives will most likely be significantly harder. Your whole life will change. You will of course love the child, but it will ruin your life. It will tire you faster. Stress you out more than a regular child. Look at a special needs parent. They are doing it, but they are burned out. They are stressing faster than their peers. You're going to see it in their faces. Just look at any example. The love you have will be toxic realistically. As a parent, you will do anything for the child. You will start to lose yourself. You will barely ask for help. 
Well, you can't help, and only you can do it properly, because a lot of people suck. You will have to be that kid's advocate all their lives. You will have tons of hospital visits. You will have tons of bills. As a parent, you are the child's responsibility. Tell your dad. What if they never leave the house, and you will be stuck with them till you die? A lot of the time will be spent with the kid, and much as you love the child, you want them to leave the nest and be independent and thriving. Not everybody can get that opportunity, or realistically can. So I'm asking to get an abortion. Do it for the kid's sake. Try to have another child with a better set of cards. Do it for them. Do it for yourself. You should have a good life for yourself and your new family. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the morning.